Alrighty, we are going to wrap up our coffee, lipstick, and real estate with you guys today with our wins and wines. Lisa D, what is it, win or wine for you this week? Oh, my dear, it is both because oh. <laughs> I, I lost my contract on my listing. The uh -huh. buyer I just wanted to get the hell out. And so I was like, I told my client, I said, you better sign that uh, mutual release form because we, yeah. I want to put this house on the market. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Monday morning, yesterday, I did five showings and one offer is come. Oh, no, I got two offers. Fantastic. So that's my win. So that's that part is we lost yeah. the deal yeah. because yeah. we were supposed to yeah. close April 12th. So that yeah. was just around the corner. Yeah. Um, but we're back on it. We've got the activity and, you know, it's all going to be good. It will sell. Great. Of course it will. Christine, what about you? Win or a wine this week? Uh, I'm in a win category this week because I discovered from my uh, yes. dear friend, uh, she says, oh, you know, I went to Wawa. We've talked about Wawa before. Um, and I went to Wawa <laughs> and I got, they have a coffee right now called Blueberry Cobbler. I was like, ooh, that sounds good. Well, she told me this concoction she made and I was like, well, that don't sound so good, ooh. but okay. She takes a little Blueberry Cobbler. She puts a little from the the hot chocolate and a little of this and she put it all in there and she said it was amazing so i guess it was some kind of dessert but i was like i usually when i go to wawa i if i do any creamer i do the um french vanilla and i just do just a little splash to you know give a little flavor right mm -hmm. well let me tell you i thought blueberry cobbler and french vanilla that sounds like a winner and sure enough it is <laughs> It is so good. Oh so my goodness. I, I got to go to Crescent Moon and get some blueberry cobbler. Wow. Yeah, well, I would not knock Wawa's blueberry cobbler. It's good, but you can't buy it in a bag. So if you want to buy it in a bag, yeah, you got to go to Crescent Moon. But I did ask. I'm like, hey, do you guys sell this in a bag? Because Wawa does sell their coffee in a bag. Um, and they sell their holiday and their pumpkin spice. But she said, oh, yeah, it's so right. just limited. So she said, maybe if it's pop, you know, maybe they will in the future. I said, I hope so. Mm -hmm. But it's actually a blue wrap around it. It says blue. You can't miss it on the line of coffee urns. And uh, so it's my win. I am addicted right now to my blueberry cobbler and a little splash of French vanilla. It's yummy. It's like dessert. Nice afternoon pick me up. That sounds great. I'm going to go with, I'm going to go with a wine today. Oh, so as many of you may have heard on the radio, Chick-fil-A is no longer going to be doing their antibiotic free chicken. Yes. Because they can't find enough antibiotic free chickens to keep About selling it. in all of their Chick-fil-A stores. And I mean, Chick-fil-A really is the only fast food air quotes that we really do. And we usually just get like the, you know, the salad. We love the Cobb salad with, of mm -hmm. course, the chicken on it. And uh, now... They can't be doing the, uh, they can't, they, since 2014, I think they said they yeah. antibiotic free chicken. Now they're like, we can't do it anymore. We can't find, it's just cost prohibitive. And so they say it's going to be chickens that have had antibiotics for things like the bird flu or, or these things or whatnot, whatever. Such a bummer. I'm yeah, whining bummer. about that. I don't yes. like that because we love Chick-fil-A and and I know if you dig deep, I don't know. I've seen I've seen way too many Instagrams and TikToks about the things that are really in the chicken. So like I don't know, maybe we go once a month now, but now yeah, I snack, even yeah. the chicken. Well, you know what? To, to, to your point, I do know that all organic farms. If one chicken gets sick, they mm -hmm. are allowed by the FDA to give all the chickens the uh, antibiotics so that doesn't mm -hmm. ruin their entire of, of uh, course and i mean it you understand it from a business perspective right but yeah. selfishly you're like i would like to maybe just stop at the chick-fil-a and know that maybe i'm having something better than another anyway well i'm actually whatever. trying That's to i follow this uh, mom she is an advocate for uh feeding your children healthy food and she takes fast food uh orders mm -hmm. and she mm -hmm. takes them to a lab and she reports back in. Ah, and I will her. say if this mm -hmm. is something new, now I haven't heard this from Chick-fil-A, but the Chick-fil-A mm -hmm. may be making this announcement to cover themselves because there is birth control in the chicken at Chick-fil-A. Mm -hmm. And so she was like, you know, for moms to be, you know, she took Wait. it to the lab, it came up and I'm just trying to find out who this, this? Um, you're not saying that Lisa DeSudo, you're saying that no. this mom on TikTok is saying that. 
Yeah, she has a um, okay. nonprofit organization. Okay. She travels all over the world. And she goes to McDonald's and Burger King and she buys food and she takes it to the lab. They die, they break it all down mm -hmm, and mm -hmm. she'll tell you exactly what is in all the foods that yeah. parents need to be aware. You know, we don't know what causes AD, ADD. We don't know all the, oh. everything that the yeah. allergies, all kinds of stuff. Yeah. We just My daughter's becoming a teacher and she, you know, does a lot of subbing and what have you and. She says, these kids are off the walls and it's especially after lunch. And she's just saying it has to be connected to the food. How many of these kids have attention problems, behavior problems, just so many issues that, I mean, now without going off on a whole tangent, do I think some of it's parenting styles today versus when I grew up and you grew up probably some of it too. Um, and you know, but respecting authority, you went to school, you went there to learn, you did not dare do step out of line. But she says that she really mm -hmm. sees like the, just the attention piece there. They, she says, I just feel like it's these foods, this red 40 that's in food and dying. And so many people don't pay attention to what their kids are eating. So good on this mom for doing that. Yeah. Um, yeah. Um, and I think yeah. has it been in our foods for some time? Sure. So we start analyzing wheat and, you know, you think oh, oh, sure. you healthy wheat bread, yeah. but guess what? Yeah. Wheat's yeah. all GMO'd. Yeah. And so it's a whole thing. And, the you know, Chick-fil-A might be saying, oh, antibiotic free chicken. But guess what? The buns that they're serving probably have GMO wheat that was used to make the bun. So you really can't get away from it. Here's the deal. <laughs> I know. You're eating fast I know. food. If you're eating I know. Fast that's, food, why, that's why it was my yeah. wine this week. I'm like, yeah. come on. Yeah. No, yeah. but my daughter, my daughter. Well, it is. I it broke my heart when I heard that. Yeah. I was like, I love Chick-fil-A. I know. I know. <laughs> well, I got to get back to the birth right. control. Who said okay. birth control? That, that was a good what? wine, Dad. That was a good yeah, wine. Yeah, 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 yeah. Darn it. All right. Thank you so much, everyone. Oh, I found her. Yeah. I found her. Okay. Hold on. What, hold on. What's her name? Her, let me see. Um, Moms Across America. She's on TikTok. So it's mm -hmm. Moms Across America. She's, uh, yeah, 73,000 followers. This is what uh, her page looks like so you can see it. Oh, did I get it? There we go. There and we very go. valuable information. I've okay. gotten a lot of nice products because um, she went to a, in California, she went to, um, uh, I'll find it and send it to you, Deb. She went to a, uh, an event, like a conference uh -huh. with all these uh, health companies. They're all about yeah. health and wellness. And yeah. she shared what she learned and how she oh, finds cool. things. I was like, ooh, this is awesome. Yeah, so, yeah, yeah. She's yeah, got very good, good information. So. Wonderful. Well, thanks, right. ladies, for sharing your wins and wines with all of us and the rest of you out there. We appreciate you joining us from Coffee, Lipstick, and Real Estate. We will chat with you next time. Take care. Bye-bye.